Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to do one AWS data engineering project. So we have one of the business requirement. So how actually we try to follow in a real time industry here also we are going to follow in the same way. So first step is to understand the business requirement. Second step is to think about the solutioning part. Third step is to do a POC and the testing work. And the fourth step is to deploy the deploy in a production. So let us start with the business requirement. So we have one of the S3 bucket where data is coming on a hourly basis. So if you will see here, this is the S3 bucket and in this S3 bucket, our data is coming on a hourly basis. In each hour from external resources, the data is coming into this S3 bucket. Second, we should have one data pipeline. So we have one of the data pipeline. What this data pipeline should do? So whenever anyone will upload the file into this S3 bucket, this data pipeline should be triggered automatically. It shouldn't be like manually we are triggering the pipeline, then only it should run. Whenever anyone will upload any file into S3 bucket, our data pipeline should be triggered automatically. That is the second point. The third step is like we should create a one aggregated result. I'll show you file first. So this is the file we have. We have a user, we have a name, we have a salary, location, date and attendance. In this we have a multiple information. So what actually we have to do? We have to find out total salary based on the location. The sum of the salary and the based on the location we have to group and we have to calculate the aggregate result and we have to store into the final file. So our the final file will look like this. Total India and the US salary is this much and this much based on the file so that is the aggregated result okay so in overall if i will say if anyone will upload a file into s3 bucket our data pipeline should trigger automatically it should do a calculation and store into s3 bucket as a separate file so that is the requirement we have now let's think from a solutioning perspective so s3 bucket in aws we will create a s3 bucket and the second, the data pipeline should be triggered automatically. So for that, what we will use, we will use a Lambda function. We will try to add a trigger there. So if anyone will upload any file into the S3 bucket, our Lambda will trigger a pipeline. We will try to write a code for calculating the total salary based on the location. And for the debugging perspective, we use a CloudWatch. So that is the step we are going to follow. So let's start with the practical. So let me open a AWS console and let's try to do a practical. So let me first create a S3 bucket. So once you will open a AWS account, this will look like this. What actually we will do first? First we'll try to create a S3 bucket. Click on the create bucket. And we will give the bucket name. So let me give bucket name as AWS Lambda project something this is the name i am giving you can give any name and click on the create bucket okay so this is the bucket we have in this bucket if anyone will upload a file our pipeline should be triggered automatically so for that what we will do we will try to create one lambda function so i will in a search bar i will search for the lambda just try to open in a new tab now we will try to create a lambda function. Click on the create function. Author from sketch. Give your function name. So I will give AWS lambda project. Something this is the function name I am giving. You can give any name. What is the runtime? So we are going to select the Python because in Python only we are going to write a code and the permission. So we should create a permission why why do we need a permission here because whenever you will execute lambda function it will try to generate a log and it, it, will, it will try to generate a log in a cloud watch so aws lambda should be able to communicate cloud watch and the s3 for that we should have a im role okay whenever aws lambda has to communicate with the s3 or any other services we should create a im role so what actually we will do, we will try to create IAM role and we will try to give some policy so that AWS Lambda will be able to communicate CloudWatch and the S3. So use an existing role. So what I will do, I will open IAM in a separate tab. You can search IAM and you can open in a new tab. 
in the left side you can see we have roles option so click on that click on the create role we are going to create a new role aws service what is our use case use case is lambda and click on the next what is the permission we are going to assign we are going to assign a aws lambda execute aws lambda execute this is the permission we are going to assign you can see description it provides put get access to s3 and the lambda okay so we'll select that next give the role name so give the role name and remember that role name so we'll give aws lambda project this is the role name we are giving click on the create role now this role will be get created so we'll go to the our lambda function and existing role we will try to refresh this and this is the role we have created we will select that now our lambda will be able to communicate s3 and the cloud watch so click on the create function now you can see we have created aws lambda project function now now you can see bottom we can write any code based on our requirement and what is our requirement whenever anyone will dump file into s3 bucket our lambda should be trigger automatically so you can see add trigger so we can have a trigger here so click on the add trigger what actually we want we want s3 so we will select s3 here and what is the bucket name so bucket name we will select in this bucket if anyone will add a file our pipeline should be trigger okay so this is the bucket name i will select what is the event type we want so let's select we want put because if anyone will dump the file into s3 bucket then only we want to trigger this so we'll select only put but if you want to have for the delete and all you can select from here after that you have to acknowledge and click on the add now you can see this is the lambda project we have created lambda function we have created we have added a trigger let's try to test it first so i will go to this code bar okay and this is the basic function we have right now let me try to print a event let me try to print event what actually i am doing i am trying to print a event and we have added a trigger you have to click on the deploy okay once you will deploy it what we will do we will go to the s3 bucket and we will try to upload a file into the s3 bucket so what we will do we are we are going to upload a file here in this case what actually it should happen our lambda should be trigger automatically so i'll click on the add files and i'll select the my file this is the file i am going to upload so i will select that click on the upload so i have uploaded a file successfully in this case what actually it should happen my pipeline should be trigger automatically how actually we can monitor this go to monitor window open a cloud watch logs in a cloud watch we can monitor that so i will open that so this is the log which got generated so we'll try to open this and we'll try to see whether events got printed or not so what actually we are doing in our code we are trying to print only the events so what is the event which is getting generated right so print event we are doing right so that only we are going to do that so you can see this is the event which got generated if i will copy and if i will show you in this event we have all the details what is the event source what is the activity which is happening whether what is the bucket name also is there this is the bucket name we have right and this is the file name so what actually we will do from this event we will try to read the file and we will try to do a aggregation okay so that is the thing we are going to do so for that i have a code i will show you and i will provide you also so that you can also practice along with me so this is the code we have let me copy and let me paste and let's try to understand so we will come to this part later so what i am doing so we have a event in this event i am trying to read a bucket and and the file name so for that i am using this one code if you want to have a bucket name and the file name you can use the same code and we will try to print that and after that we are trying to read the csv file 
and we are trying to print the lines and we are trying to print the headers so let's see whether this code is working fine or not we are able to read the bucket name and the file name or not so i will try to print a bucket and the file name also print bucket and the key and after that you have to click on the deploy once you deploy right now what we will do i'll go to my s3 first i will try to delete and i will try to re-upload let me delete and re-upload okay now if let me try to upload the same file whenever i will upload a file my pipeline should be trigger and in in this time we are printing a bucket name and the file name and that should that we should get it as of now we are doing a debugging for our code okay so that is the step we are following i will go to the cloud watch i'll just try to refresh this is the log which got generated now here if you will see so we have printed our the bucket name and the file name which we are getting and this is the list we are getting so if i will show you code whenever i am reading a csv file and i am just printing a line so this is the lines we are getting okay what is our file this is our file so we are able to read a header you can see in header we are getting username salary location and all and these are the values now from this value what actually we have to do we have to calculate the aggregation we have to find out the sum of the salary based on the location so for that we have to write a code so let me just double click this line let me copy this and let me try to open in a jupyter notebook so this is the jupyter notebook i have this is the list data we are getting if i show you money is 1000 us and all this is the list data is coming right so i just copy that now in this case what actually i am doing i am trying to calculate the total salary so if you see in this particular index in all the index i2 i2 is our salary column and i3 is telling me whether it is a india or us okay so i am iterating the list okay and i am checking if it is a india then store this into the india list if it is a us then store into us only the salary one you store so that's why in i2 i have given okay now now after that i am just doing a sum of india and sum of us so first let me try to print india and the us let me execute this you can see this is the india one and this is the us one salary from the list okay now if if i will do just sum up india and sum up us i will get the aggregate result and if i will try to print i will get the printing result right so that is how actually we can do so in a code also we'll try to write the same code i'll just copy this whole code now what we are doing we are calculating the aggregation result we are trying to find out total india salary is sum of india what is the total us salaries is sum of us okay and after that we will try to dump into a separate file so i am just searching if the file name equal to the this then dump into the as a new file okay so that is the code i am writing so boto3 is one of the library through which actually you can put your file into the bucket okay so that is the only thing actually i am doing so i will share this code with you you go through this one by one line and try to understand and try to use that try to adjust based on your requirement and like suppose if you have to put into the separate bucket and separate file name try to adjust it with your requirement and try to use this okay in my requirement i just have to find out the total india salary and the total us salary based on the location so that's how actually i return this code but based on your requirement you can adjust this 
so i just copied this i'll just try to deploy this now what i will do i'll go to my aws bucket i'll try to delete the file first and i'll try to re-upload in this case what actually it should happen once i will upload my lambda should trigger automatically it should be able to read my file and it should be able to save as a new file with the aggregated result what i will do i will try to upload it i will try to upload the same file i will try to upload a employee 3 once i will upload the file what actually it should happen it should be able to trigger my lambda project lambda function i will go to the cloud watch i will try to refresh this you can see this log got generated it should be able to create the total aggregation and that actually we can see and it should be able to save the file into the s3 bucket so i'll go to the s3 bucket if i will close it now you can see this is the aggregate file which got saved it took time and i'll click on the download and just try to save the name as I aggregated this is the file actually i am saving and I'll try to open this. So I'll try to open a download. Let's see aggregated result got saved or not. I'll open into the notepad. You can see this total India and total US salary it is able to calculate and it's stored in the separate file. Okay. Means our pipeline is working fine. So we have created one pipeline. So whenever anyone will dump a file, okay, so what this code actually it is doing, it is reading that file, it is trying to calculate the aggregate and it is trying to store into the our S3 bucket with the name as a aggregate file. So that is how actually we are able to do this code actually you can adjust with your requirement as of now few in few cases I have done the hard coding but that also you can automate that. But I hope you got overall idea. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching.